Hello and welcome back to Sister Circle Live. If you are one of those people who is vowing to lose weight in 2019, get ready to take notes. <laughs> our next guest has all the skinny on the diet do's and don'ts. Please welcome our good friend, Dr. Frida Frischer. Yay. Yay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Dr. Frida Chow, we're so excited that you're back. <laughs> Chow. We just love when you come down to the circle. And I'll say your shop is attacked. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now, in 2015, I did my capstone on African American on obesity in the African American uh, community. Why on earth are we still dealing with such an epidemic? And I know that was, you know, just four years ago, but and we've been dealing with it since then. But what is the formula? You know, why haven't we been able to get a hold of this epidemic? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. We're still trying to. You know, obesity in the United States is higher than anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. And blacks have a higher percentage of yes. obesity than any other ethnic yes. group. Wow. So yes. it's really a huge problem that we're trying to Absolutely. figure out. And now it's affecting our children. 30% mm -hmm. of our children are obese. Mm -hmm. yes. And it has a lot to do with our lifestyle and cultural attitudes, but mm -hmm. we're still trying to get a hold of it. Do you think it's a soul food it. diet too? Do you think that plays a part? It plays a part, part, plus what is actually attractive in the black culture. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of patients who will come into the office and be attractive and obese, and they'll say, I don't want to lose weight because my man doesn't want me to lose my hips. Wow. So there's some cultural things okay. that promote obesity mm. in the black community. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between a, being a bit overweight and obese because there there is a difference. There's yeah. a difference. Yes. yes. What is the difference? So the difference is defined by the BMI, yes. the body mass <laughs> index. Mm -hmm. If your BMI is greater than or equal to 25 but less than 30, you are overweight. Okay. But if your BMI is greater than or equal to 30, you are obese. Yeah, and, 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 and in a lot of instances, that's inaccurate because it could be muscle that is taken into I'm consideration as well. I'm glad you said well. that. Okay. The more muscular you are, mm -hmm. the, the, higher. the BMI will overestimate Absolutely. whether or not you're obese. Mm -hmm. Right, that's and some true. of those BMIs are not based on like people that look like us. It's true. Because um, people are, you know, when I tell people how much I weigh, like, no, but I'm like, a, I'm muscular, yeah. muscular. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are well, muscular. Come on, Mr. T. <laughs> muscular person or if you have dense bones like many sure. black people do then your BMI will overestimate okay. your percentage of fat yeah. so you do have to be careful okay okay well, see I've been thin most of my life and I'm, I'm new to the overweight game you know <laughs> it's, it's, it's true and so and with that you know I'm one of those people who's like okay at the beginning of the year I'm gonna make these resolutions but <laughs> like me a lot of people they just kind of fall off the wagon sure. so why is it so easy for people like me to get discouraged. <laughs> it's easy to get discouraged because diets are confusing. Mm -hmm. People don't know if they should do low carb, no carb, mm -hmm. high fat, no fat, three meals a day, 10 mm -hmm. meals a day, paleo, paleo kilo. Mm -hmm. They don't know. Mm -hmm. It's confusing. Also, the very word diet mm -hmm. can be psychologically oppressive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just spell it out. D-I-E. D-I-E. Oh, wait a minute. T. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the world has a diet. It's just yes. really what you eat. It's That's all it means. It shouldn't mean depleting yourself of it. Mm -hmm. But if you think of it as a diet, mm -hmm. right. Right. it feels right. like you're a loss. Sad. Right. Yes. 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 A piece of your spirit is not. Every yes. time you can't eat. Yes. Yeah. Well, Dr. Yes. what are some of the common mistakes that people make when dieting, and what are some of the do's and don'ts of dieting? Very good question. One of my do's and don'ts of dieting is don't lie to yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't lie I'm about what you're show. eating. I have so many patients who will <clears throat> come into the office and say, I don't know why I'm gaining all this weight. I don't eat a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. You're like, girl. Yes, you do. <laughs> girl. If you are gaining, <laughs> y'all crazy. If you're gaining true fat weight, mm -hmm. then you are more likely than not eating excess calories, excess sugars, excess processed mm -hmm. foods. And so, don't lie to yourself. A lot of times you lie to yourself unintentionally, unintentionally mm -hmm. but you underestimate what you eat. Mm -hmm. So what you should do is hold yourself accountable. Keep a food diary. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to the calories mm -hmm. you take in. And download okay. a calorie counting app. Yes. So having a glass of wine doesn't mean just refilling the same glass. Mm. No, ma'am. It's a glass. <laughs> I'm <laughs> using a glass. <laughs> no, Trina. No. Rule number one. 
honest with your family. Right. <laughs> that's rule number one. Right. right. That's an extra 400 calories you just right. put in your body. Could it, could it too be that the lack of education, Dr. Frida? Like, they, they might write a food log and they think that what they're writing is good. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe absolutely. they don't know that, absolutely. that Trina's one glass is really 10 glasses because she's because the amount or just one glass. Okay. And that's why it's so important to consult your physician right. to okay. be properly educated. Okay, yeah. so why do people, when they lose weight, because this has happened to me a lot of times, you lose weight and then all of a sudden, you, you look around three months later and it's like, it's all back. Oh my goodness. What happened? Yes. And more sometimes. Yeah, yes. and it, it's, it's like it got good to you that you was real cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what, this isn't going to hurt. Yeah. This isn't going to I can have this pizza. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people try to do too much too fast. Don't mm -hmm. do too much too fast. Mm -hmm. It may have taken them five years to gain the weight, mm -hmm. but they want to lose it in five minutes. Right. Oh. Yeah. And they want to run to the grocery store, buy all of the perfect foods that mm -hmm. they should eat, spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. But they know they're not going to eat them. Mm -hmm. They're not bad them no more. And then they want to restrict everything in one day. No carbs, no fats, no meats, no dairy. They want to stop in short. They set themselves up for so, failure. So they make it not a lifestyle. It not a lifestyle. a lifestyle. So are you, are, are you saying, Dr. Frieda, to gradually pull things away yes. from your old diet mm -hmm. and exactly. then substitute them with something new and more healthy in your new yeah. diet. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Gradually. Be realistic Trina. and gradual. Okay. Trina. Dr. Frieda, it's just not fair because <laughs> It takes such a short amount of time <laughs> to gain the weight, it does. Yeah. but then you have to, you know, okay, realistically, how many pounds should you lose safely a mm. month or a well, week, and what should those goals look like? It's going to vary from person to person, but once you're in that steady state weight loss, it should be about one to two pounds per mm -hmm. week, oh, okay, really? on average. That, mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. That's realistic. That's yeah, realistic. I'll take eight pounds in a month. Attainable. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Look at Trina. You can do it. <laughs> But it, it just it. sounds like such a short amount of pounds because, like, uh -oh. some people. But you have to like seven pounds a week. Seven pounds in a month is like 21 pounds. Right, and then like women, mm -hmm. when we lose weight, it, 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 it you can see it. Yeah, oh, quit. Yeah. Yeah. You got this, boo. We're here to help. I mean, I'm here for because men, they can stop drinking soda and lose 10 pounds. It's true. You know, and we stop all kinds of foods in this like one pound in three months. Mm. But it's the long-term game, the long-term right. lifestyle change. Yes. yes. Well, Trina. we are going to make sure <laughs> Trina is going to get this done yes. with Dr. Frida's help yes. and her sisters at the yes. circle. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Frida, you. for being yeah. here. For more information on these tips and more, uh, you can go to her YouTube channel, Dr. Frida.